to day 13 of Vlogmas. I am here with my friend Jen and we are continuing our Feature Friday series. Last week we chatted with Christine, we talked about all things Happy Planner and today I wanted to introduce you to my friend Jen. She is the queen of like creative ideas. She comes up with creative ways to use the products that we all use and love all the time. So I definitely am going to dig into that with her, but I want to kick it off by asking her the same question I asked Christine and just how you got started with the planner community or when you started planning and how, what brought you here? Yeah. So I've been a planner for basically my entire yeah. life. <laughs> I think probably around fifth grade is okay. like date wise that's probably when I started like actually like using a daily planner to track school assignments to track you know part-time like babysitting gigs yeah. did when you get a different one or did you just use the one that your school gave you okay so this is a great question so <laughs> I actually my parents actually enrolled my brother and I in a time management class at what? Sylvan Learning Center yep so like, that was probably a really good decision was, they made. <laughs> pre, this is pre-internet. This is like pre-YouTube. All idea. that jazz. But it was like, these are important skills that you have to totally. learn as a child. So a lot of it was around schoolwork, but also because like you have sports or like I said, babysitting or yeah. whatever, after school activities, you have to juggle all of that and figure out how to prioritize and how to manage your time and you know decide if you do or do not have time to do something that is such a great life skill for kids which for is sure. great and like the best part is like to this day the best part of that is like you got like a planner a nice planner you got like a baby planner and it was a ring bound so that was like my first introduction okay. to planning to a little like ring bound system and like my mom but like my mom also was like a was like my og planner lady okay. so like she had a day runner and so like you know growing up like watching her plan. like use an organizational system and plan oh, and that's cool. making time for that like definitely like going in those footsteps and that's like so cool. seeing it live and in, in action and then in high school and college i would use like the at a glance like yeah. coil down system horizontal layout because okay. i would need space i just i would want the space to like write out assignments, assignments. yeah, yeah. Day one of college classes, the best, because you get all your syllabi, you are color coding, you're doing all that jazz. Like, it's amazing. Yeah. It's the best day. Um, so I did, I used just like, you know, at a glances throughout college. And then when I was first starting to kind of like get my first like grown up job, a friend of mine kind of sat me down and was like, listen, if you want to be taken seriously, like... <laughs> you can't go into <laughs> meetings with like and like job interviews with like your like beat up college planner and he introduced me to like the file effects okay so for for a lot of years afterwards i was using a ring bound file like a little file effects okay and up until i bought my first ec which i looked back and it was like 2014 2015 okay it was the so it was the first year that the different colored um metallic coils were, were an option yeah. okay so I got a gold my first year. So it was like six years ago almost at okay. this point. I was using a ring bound system. Oh, interesting. I did not know that. Yeah. And horizontal and like horizontal. Horizontal. So like really when I switched to my EC, like it was a really big yeah, change. change. And I wasn't sure if it was a system that would work because I was like, I don't, you know, I was using like an electronic calendar, like an outlook where everything is, you know, hourly and it's vertical. And I was like, I don't know if that's going to work for my personal life, but it did. And I've been in an EC like since then is my primary planner. Okay. So you're still in an EC vertical then? Yeah. As your primary so, planner? Yeah. So there was the first year that they did the horizontal layout, I switched to the horizontal and okay. I really liked that. But just the way that my, just, it's interesting, just like the way that my mind kind of processes how time is organized yeah. and like when I'm doing things, the vertical works better. Yeah. So I'm in the neutral vertical. But that's not all, you guys. I am here to show you this really awesome combo coil bound petite planner. So when Erin Condren released the petite planners, I love them. Like there are so many options. There are so many like, and, and I love them. However, I can't really get behind the sewn binding. I think it's just hard to write in. I just, it's not my favorite thing. 
So when I saw that she did this, I was like, I need you to bring this so I can see it in person, first off. And then I need to think about what I would put in my own if I made one. Because this is awesome, y'all. So can you yeah. tell us what you did? For sure. So one of the first planner groups that I ever joined was We Love EC. Yeah. And so there were a couple folks in that group who had taken their petite planners to their staples and were like, we got it coil bound and I I love the petite planner system and it's really great for my on the go stuff yeah. but like you I really love a coil. a coil yeah and I also kind of get stressed out using a TN system with a bunch of different books and okay well what if I run out of one notebook and then yeah. or I'm having to kind of double you know work in one notebook and then starting another one it doesn't totally work for me so I was like all right I'm definitely gonna try to coil it so I took in my version of the one that I'm using, it's the 18 month July 2019 to December 2020 okay. monthly planner. Cause I was like, okay, what do I need the most when I'm on the go? And I'm like already just kind of like scribbling notes and pre-planning using post-it notes. Okay. So I need like a monthly layout with a place for notes so I can okay. kind of look at what's happening. At like the whole year future at a glance. Exactly. Kind of thing. Okay. I was like, I don't so much need a daily. If I need like, yeah. If I'm Cause if you're out and about and someone's like, are you free yeah. this day? It's like, well, yeah. Exactly. I was like, I, I was like, great. So I need a month view. And then I also was like, okay, I need notes pages. So I took an entire version of the dot grid Wow, Book. look at that. So that is like that, in, that's, it totally fit. And she included, this is the back cover yeah. of the notebook, but she mm -hmm. flipped it flipped it around. So like this is the actual back and this is like the inside of the back. And she flipped it around so that the logo makes sense, but like. And I pulled some of, like I usually have a bunch of post-it notes stuck on here. Oh, but yeah. For pre-planning pre stuff. And if you wanna get like super fancy and think more about this and not be impulsive like me and are just like, I have to try this. <sighs> You can, t you know, you can build out your own dividers by either laminating this and oh, then you can use idea. wet erase markers or dry erase markers so that you have that's like, a great idea. You're basically building dashboards. Yeah, that that's a great idea. But I didn't. So this is just the oh. back cover, but I did want to have like a divider, but also yeah. it creates um, some stability because this is that really nice. Yeah, thick, that thick, thicker, that thickness. Exactly. So there's some dot grid pages which are my favorite for checklists. And I love that they yes. have, I love that they kind of switched to like the gray asterisk. Yes. I love that. So this is an entire lined petite, petite planner. Petite, yeah, petite okay. planner or petite journal. Yeah, yeah, whatever um, it's called. With the, um, the colorful the color. Cover. Yeah, the, the colorful rainbow kaleidoscope color. Okay. And then and you then, kept the pocket. And then I kept the pocket. I love that. Cause this is great. Cause I can jam receipts or whatever invitations that yeah. I need to RSVP for or all kinds yeah. of stuff. So smart. This is so cool. And then it's the back. And oh yeah. And then the back. And you were telling me, we were chatting before that you kind of wish you'd done a little bit less pages and the place that you went to, this was the biggest coil they had. Yeah. So you it, probably could do a slightly bigger coil if you wanted. Totally. So if you are, if this is something that like you're interested in doing on your own, this is a great DIY thing. It's super inexpensive. We're talking like less than 10 bucks. Oh, wow. Some places will put like a clear plastic cover. Like I pulled this out of my bag and I showed like, and then like the cover was like bent, bent. back. And I was like, truly don't even worry about it. She like bent it back and yeah. it, you can't even really tell. No, it's a amazingly sturdy cover. That's like so it's great. Awesome. And I throw it, like I'm not precious with it at all. I right. throw it into this an This is just function. Bag. Exactly. So this is straight function. And um, if I had, if I was going to do it again, I would probably take out maybe five pages of each of the, the lined and dock grid because okay. the, the print shop that I took it to, this was the biggest coil that they had. And like, it's a little tight. It's tight. It's a little tight. Yeah. Um, and I also want to zoom in yeah, so you can you see go. how tight it is. So you have a little focus on so that. It's, okay. There forget it. We'll I was it. trying to get it to close up so you could see how tight it was, but it was not focusing. It's so tight. They're it's not tight. laying totally flat. You can flip it. Like it'll flip around. It will lay flat, but like. Now. Yeah, you can see that. Part so, there. so anyway. let's talk about the the place that you took it to. So you tried to go to Staples. So I tried to go to Staples, and I'm in Brooklyn, and they I wanted to check because I wanted to in real time kind of play around and figure out what. Right, you wanted them to cut them up and then move things around and then hand it back and say, now please coil it in this order. That's exactly right. Right, I can see that too. If I'm, I don't necessarily know which ones I want and what order. Like I think I would incorporate. We'll get, we'll get to that. What I would do if I yeah. could do this. So you, so Staples. 
so they so they said like we send ours we send ours out to get bound and i was like okay that's not gonna really work for me but <laughs> I, for this particular project, but I was like, oh, I will take it to our local print shop that I use at work and I'll see if they can do it. And they did. So it was really fantastic because they were able to cut straight down the sewn binding, protect enough of the inner margins to punch it, which is really like, that, that's key, super key. Um, so that you're not kind of dipping into, especially on the calendar pages. Yeah. You yeah. Lose, it doesn't. Yeah, it doesn't dip into the no. like the no. layout at all. Isn't that awesome? Yeah, you don't want to lose your real estate. Yeah, just know that if you do try to go to Staples, and I'm assuming Office Max and Office Depot may mm -hmm. be like that. However, at the same time, well, so they don't do it on site. You think that that is a New York problem because we have small Staples? Yeah, okay. I think that this is entirely specific to my Brooklyn Staples because okay. I think a lot of the other folks in the group that have tried it have taken it to either their local Office Depot or and have them do it on and have do it on site okay. while they waited. So if you live somewhere with a normal sized office supply store you're probably fine new york has we have issues here right <laughs> so. fedex kinko's or oh, fedex yeah. offices i guess what they're now called whatever, whatever, whatever it's called um is another place um yeah. basically any place that will do like binding of presentations and photocopies of presentations is a good place to start that's to start. local to you yeah i do think probably the hardest part too is cutting it and that like that process of cutting it down the middle yeah Totally. Like that's the part like I think at home, well, I guess I punching it and coiling it. What, who, who am I? Like, yeah, I was, I was going, there was a version of this where I was like, okay, well I'll just use my paper cutter yeah. or an X-Acto knife and a ruler to try to cut down the binding. But the way that I was, I would have botched it like, yeah. for sure. would have botched it and it would have been Same. a mess. <laughs> like, I don't think this is something I should yeah. try to DIY. No, I, I was like, is... I'm going to leave this to the professionals yes. for sure. They have like machines that are good at this. That's right. Like, um, but yeah, so you literally could combine any, any of the petite planners in my head. I'm thinking like the daily layouts, like the meal planner maybe, or like mm -hmm. the wellness planner. Yeah. If you are looking at making different uh, wellness choices or you're yeah. tracking, you like know, your health, health and wellness, and wellness stuff, yeah. you know, put, I would maybe do like the 18 month Monthly. calendar so that you're either track, you know, you can be tracking goals yeah. or tracking doctor's appointments. Um, and then you can put the meal planner and yeah. bind that in. And then also the wellness, wellness planner, journal. Yeah. Um, if you, there's a lot of really great, there's ones. that new doctor, yeah. the new doctor visit journal yep. thing. That's right. I haven't really flipped through it at all. There's but. a lot. No, totally. There's a lot of really great kind of versions of that. Yeah. I'm like, you recently got engaged. I know. So I'm thinking, so there is yeah. this little guy, this little wedding planner and how I think the monthly and this and notes pages. Mm hmm. Like that would be the best little on the go wedding planner we were talking about. So let me also say, Jen is also engaged <laughs> and planning a wedding yeah. and she's been engaged for over a year now and planning a wedding for 2020. Mm -hmm. And we were talking about how as nice as some of the pages are in the big Erin Condren wedding planner, carrying that thing around to meetings and stuff, it's big and heavy. Yeah. And this little guy, we haven't done a quite side by side comparison. Maybe by the time this video goes up, I yeah. will have done one. If I have, I'll link that where all the info pages. So they have like, you know, things you should be doing, music, guest list, all those things. I think they're the same. I think the pages are the same. I'm almost, yeah, I'm almost positive. And one of the things, if you haven't seen or, you know, checked out on the website, kind of what the Aaron Connor kind of normal size wedding planner looks like, it's basically a deluxe month yes. with these fantastic timelines and check info pages, pages and notes yeah. pages. They're wonderful. And when this petite planner came out as part of the kind of wedding series, yeah. um, along with an undated, like there are tons in that little group that you could bind together and make a little on the go planner. But like, this is a work, like this is my wedding planning workhorse. I'm obsessed with that little guy. Yeah. With it because it is jam packed with just the right amount of space. Yep. It's got really good prompts. It's not overwhelming, which I right. think a lot of typical wedding, wedding planners stuff are can be. Yeah, I looked at some at Barnes and Noble and they're like it was like an eight and a half by eleven binder and it was like packed with stuff and I was yep. like, that's a lot of decisions and a lot of things. Like I'm not quite there yet. Like we'll get to the details yeah. eventually, but right now I just need to like make do the big stuff and i think that this really has all the big stuff in it mm -hmm. one of my favorite parts of this is that the pages the notes pages in the back are dot grid 
So when you're starting to either make lists or yeah. draw floor plans, you can draw them right into oh, your yeah. book. You can draw little tables. So these are some sample floor plans from my venue. So starting to just kind of play around with different layouts. Um, it's great. I've got my EC washi. Like it's just taped. It's literally taped right in. If I decide to scrap it and say, well, oh, this doesn't work. It'll all literally. Oh, I like that idea instead of gluing it in because yeah. then you can take it back out. No, it's literally like, I'm going to peel it up. I did this brilliant within the last week and like it's it's fine it's fine the pages are totally fine oh that's so awesome that's such a good idea so you can start playing around with like yeah plans. So like oh do i want to lay it like that or do i want to lay it like that uh, for the ceremony space for, yeah for ceremony versus reception oh, that's so cool. and i mean it's great i love too that like i have like i have it physically with me right when you're going all the to the places and like do you want to hand me my my ec so like this is my ec <laughs> and literally, like, I will just, if I'm doing something that I need kind of my daily normal planner, I literally just tuck it in the back pocket of oh, my Oh, I've never really thought about that the petite planners fit in that pocket. They fit. And, like, Voila! I, I like, and I run with it and I'm good to go. Oh my God, that's so smart. And Instead of taking yeah. this and your wedding planner that's the same size as this, that has I'll like, it. it's a little And it fits in my, like, I this is one of my favorite your accessories. Little, yeah, yeah, I love. Oh, me too. But like, it fits, I haven't checked to see if it would fit in the pocket. It might fit in the pocket Oh, too. I don't, I think I tried that once Did to see if it? they would fit in the pockets. I don't think they fit in the this. pockets. All right, let's see. I feel like I tried this once before and it didn't, but maybe it does like I'm struggling here. Oh, it does. Yeah. Okay. So it'll fit. You can fit one in the folio. planner in the folio and then you could keep your other planner behind it. And honestly, okay. Here's some ideas in real time. Yes. If you don't want to do kind of a separate coil bound wedding, wedding planner, planner and you want to use your regular planner system, you can put your planner here You and you can turn this, you can turn your EC folio into an on the go, like, Wedding, wedding planning. That's what I was literally system. just thinking. I need a separate because cause I'm still going to use, I think I have not finalized as of the filming of this video. I have not finalized my wedding planning setup, but I think I'm still going to try and use the coil bound mm -hmm. wedding planner as my like at home yeah, wedding planner, but, and have something else like this that I take with me on the go. So I'm almost like, I need one of these little folios just for my wedding planning yeah. system and I can keep my wedding planner in the back and the little one here and then like you can put you can think put things like um you would like a um, like business cards a tape, you can put oh, business you can put business card you can put your own business cards that you are tra if you're going to bridal you know expos or if you're meeting with vendors and you're exchanging cards and information you can have a stash of your cards yeah. and a stash for cards that you're you collecting get. you can put like a flat, um, like tape measure so at like, go to Ikea, like an Ikea, like some, you know, cheap, or, cheap, it's cheap tape measure. Um, and a, like a ruler, like I keep my just like regular EC ruler, which is a super yeah, but heavy thing. A, having a ruler. Like, yeah. And I, I feel like I mentioned this somewhere recently. They started reprinting the outsides yes. a lot brighter. Mm -hmm. Like the colors are a lot brighter than they used to be. Yeah. This is definitely at least like an older old. version. Yep. Yeah. And so now I'm like, I need another one of those for my wedding planning. Yeah. System. <laughs> And they're like, it's like the, everything is so customizable, which is always so nice. So you can have stuff like specifically for, right. It can have one of the wedding, wedding planning things. On. Yeah. I have a separate, just like coiled notebook that okay. I'm using for notes. Um, and again, like, I, I don't think I have any, oh, now I do. Okay. So this is a, this is a binder from Chrissy Ann designs where I have stickers and stuff, but stickers. I love these EC oh, the adhesive pockets. pockets. So these are great to stick on one of your plan. You like you can stick them right on your planner covers. And again, it's a tight fit, but I think I've I think I've tried to cram the petite, a petite planner in there? into it. Oh. Let me see if we can do it. Oh, I don't want to ruin your pocket it's though. Not, it's not gonna ruin my pocket. Oh. Let's see if Let's we see. can cram it in there. Um, it's, it's tight and it kind okay. So it's tight, it's tight, and it's, kind of, it's, it's lifting up a lifting little bit. Up on the edge. But it's it's not coming off. No, it's lifting up, and then you can just you stick just it back it down. down. Okay. But I love these because these are great and you can put them on the inside of your planner covers. And again, it's another place to like put those, all those papers and like, just like you all, so many the, papers. all the papers and all the cards and all of that stuff. Yeah, that's a great idea. Or even like as you're collecting, like as people are sending you, you know, engagement cards and things yeah. like that. And you just need or gifts place. and we need to send like yeah, or cards. Or if you're, you know, holding on to, you know, if, before you can put 
um, people's addresses into you know oh, a spreadsheet a or a, a place where you're collecting thank you notes and you just you know you're holding I did that for like a little while it's a good, like, to, like put hold the, envelopes the envelopes in there yeah, because they have the address place. exactly that's a great idea I didn't even think about that oh there's so many things to think about with wedding planning y'all yeah. but these are also like all all this stuff like this is all stuff that's already like in my planner arsenal like I use this is all the stuff that I use all, on a all the daily time. basis right. and just figuring out ways to figuring out new ways to repurpose it and to use it right which is brilliant okay so you also briefly mentioned maybe using the Erin Condren binder system as a wedding planner yeah so this is one of those things where combining items that you already have or just kind of plussing what you're already using and making it specific to what you're doing and what phase you are in your life could be really a thing that works for you so if you don't like if you're like no I'm not about that coil life but you have <laughs> a binder system and you love it and you have like there's tons of the new inserts that like yeah. I think they're monthly and there's now the daily ones yeah like that's really more my jam and you're like okay use your existing binder system get the petite planner that has the wedding to go with it. and things to go with it pop a coil clip on it and because of the way that the the rings are arranged and they work with all the other accessories that you already have and are going to put in your binder, it's going to just tuck right in. And then you can take it in and out so that you have everything that's going on in, in your life, but everything that's specific to the wedding that you might be planning, you can clip, that in. You can clip it in. I have never thought about coil clipping the petite planner into the binder or even into a normal planner. I like, love, oh, that's a great idea. I'm like, you can, and like you can coil clip it into your EC too. If you don't want to like stick it in the pocket. I didn't bring a coil clip. But I it also works. feel I love the coil clips. Like, that's great. Yeah. I also feel like the binder system would be helpful when you get like, you get so many other pieces of paper from you all get, the other people. Absolutely. And I, I'm, I'm struggling cause I want to figure out how to get them into the coiled Erin Condren. But now I'm thinking maybe I'm going to coil clip a folder into my other Erin Condren for all those papers. Yes. I feel like Avery has them, but like like at Staples or whatever, and they have like the poly, like folders. plastic folders. Yeah. yeah. And then coil slap, clip that in. Slap a coil clip on it and coil clip it. Oh my gosh. Well, and we just got can, on a total yeah. tangent from the binder, but like now I'm thinking yeah. like, that's a great idea. But it's just like, it's adding, it's like, you know, just making little adjustments yeah. to your existing systems to make it work for you. To make it work for you. So smart. Yeah, I feel like if you wanted to do a binder that was just the wedding planner, mm -hmm. you could do the monthly in a bunch yes. of notes pages and quail clip this totally. in. You also could, if you wanted to really go for the DIY, take the coiled wedding planner, uncoil it, and you can just put it yes. in here. That's right. You don't we'll have to right punch in like into these rings. Like any coiled Erin Condren paper will fit in the rings mm -hmm. and I mean it sticks out I think there's one extra hole at the top but like you could put the wedding planner yeah. in here now that's kind of maybe what now, I now well and I will also say that like the new like I love I love the collect the colorful kaleidoscope oh, I know. So cool. but the neutral pattern this year is kind of looks like a diamond ring when you think of it oh my god and it using does it, yeah. And it's beautiful to and get silver and stuff. And it's silver. And I like the silver. And you're a team silver. And I'm team silver for sure. I also like the neutral ones. I thought like if I'm carrying the binder into like a meeting with like a vendor, like yeah. the new like the solid color navy would look totally. nice or whatever. But yeah, I do like that navy color too. Yeah. We also grabbed a sheet of like yeah. eight and a half by eleven paper. It would stick, stick out in. if you punch something in, like it'll stick out a little bit. So you could always fold it fold it down in half or you could trim it. I don't know. Yeah, totally. You can print. Yeah. If you're printing your contracts, like you could print them on, you could set your printer to print to them print at a different the size. size. Oh, that's true. So that's something you could do. I, because I have just like a regular eight binder, by binder. binder, I ordered the larger, I ordered an eight by 10 cover and I just trimmed the sides off and I just stuck the cover in the front clear pocket and in the back. Oh my gosh, that's so smart. So then you get like a cute Erin Condren cover right. on your boring and you can white change, binder. Yeah, white they binder. used to sell like cute eight and a half by 11 size binders with Erin mm -hmm. Condren patterns, but they discontinued those. I know, I'm sad. And I miss no, the divider. Too. I miss like the single dividers because I, I use those a lot. I use those a lot. And so by like trimming off the cover, but, oh, but also like 
if you're using the binder, like if you're using the binder system, you can order a cover and put like whatever you want on it and you can put the cover to in like there. also use yeah. as a divider. And it's a great, like, again, like it's a great dashboard. Yeah. For the writing or the cover, notes. like the, I love the way they redesigned the back because of the covers. There was all that blank space. So right. can, yeah, exactly. And it is unfortunate that Aaron Condren does not currently offer a punch for their binder, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, it's eight holes. Like you can hand punch that if you're not punching yeah, like a million totally. things. Like I'm not saying go punch an entire notebook, mm -hmm. but if you have like one sheet of paper from or like a brochure from something and you want to add it in there, like you can punch it eight times and stick it in there. Yeah. Or if it's smaller and it's only like four, only the middle ones. Now and now I am so torn. I don't know what I want to do for my. You can also punch it this oh, way and then and then, and then you can fold it. Like that's another way if you yeah. don't want to if you want to change the orientation of your paper. Yeah. For, yeah, to keep things in that are eight and a half by 11. Yeah, mm -hmm. so I'm really still torn on how I'm gonna set up my wedding planning system with like a binder, a normal size one, or a Aaron Condren one, or the, you know, there's so many options. Yeah. There are so many options. There are so, yeah. And like you start to get like decision fatigue oh, too. I can't and even imagine. Total overwhelm, or at least I did. I like, I very quickly got overwhelmed with like all of the choices of things. Yeah. And I was like, okay. Let's just try to keep it simple. Okay. What has exactly. been your favorite part though of wedding planning? Oh my gosh. I mean, getting to do it with my fiance, fiance. has been, which is so weird. Sorry. Laura. They've been dating for like a very for long forever. time. So going from <laughs> boyfriend to fiance was probably, that was probably a big step. Yeah. I totally. also struggle, but like. It's weird, but he's, he's great. I mean, and getting to spend so much time with him. Yeah, because you like, you so have fun. to. <laughs> yeah, because you have to. And like, you like to. Like, that's been, like, that's been so much fun. And, you know, having more reasons to get together with my family and his yeah. family. And, like, that's been really fun, too. That's true. And I like, it's fun to throw a party. Yeah. Like, I love to, like. Uh, yeah, I love hosting. We love yeah. hosting parties. So yeah. it's like, we're hosting a big giant party. This is like the big, this is like a big party that I'm going to host. So I'm also trying to, like, frame it that way. So that's that, a great way to look at it. Yeah, it's like, it's a really big fun party yeah. that you and the person that you get to spend the rest of your life with oh, are hosting. throwing. Yeah. For the people that you love the most. Oh, that's so fun. So that's been fun. That's so cute. I and if it. you like get some like fun new pens and paper along the way, like that's great. It's great. That's it's just great. the icing on the cake. There's so many. I've also heard a rumor that Emily Lay is coming out with a wedding planner. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know any details. I saw this in a Facebook group. I don't know anything about rumors. it. Rumors. But like We're rumors. starting rumors here. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I, I think that'll just confuse me more. Um, but Cause you used a simplified planner. For a little bit. Yeah. It worked for a while. Right? Yeah. When I needed a daily layout at work, I used yeah. I also bought the Dapper Desk for this year, which I don't mm. know why I need that, but like <laughs> I decided I needed it. Let's shift from planners for a second. One of the questions that I'm asking everybody, because we do talk about goals mm -hmm. a lot on this channel. Do you have a goal setting system that works for you? Yeah. So in my work life, I set uh, goals in a bunch of different ways. Some of the goals are based on project by project that okay. we're doing. Some of them are based on a quarterly system. Um, and some of them are yearly. So there's a combination of short-term and long-term goals. Okay. And then in my personal life, this was the first year that I started using power sheets, which is so amazing yes. and like incredible and like really shifted how I think about goal setting. Yeah, I, I've said that a lot too. Yeah. I think that power sheets, the biggest piece of it was a mindset thing. For me, at least breaking down goals into little bitty bite-sized pieces as opposed to just like, you know, oh, I have this goal to clean my house or this goal to lose weight. Okay, well like, but how are we actually gonna do that? And let's, how are we gonna do that each month instead of trying to do it all in January and trying to do it all at once? And I think for me that has also, that's been the biggest yeah. piece of the power sheets. Absolutely, and also trying to do it at the perfect time yep. and the perfect way. Like I've really had, I've really done a lot of work on like getting rid of that and like really focusing on what is the little like what is this little growth and small manageable steps yep. that i'm making and that and to really kind of see those add up yep. which is funny because like i do it at work all the time but when i'm doing it huh. on my own stuff it's yep. like i struggle with that yep. and so that's been so that's been really helpful and like this summer i kind of didn't commit to them in the same way that i did kind of at in the, the first part of the year 
Um, but now, like, I just got my 2021s delivered yesterday. What cover did you pick? Okay, I went with the teal linen cover. Okay. And I went with the Blooms accessory oh, pouch. I also ordered the Blooms pouch because I just couldn't resist it. It's so beautiful. It's so pretty. It's really great. Oh my god. And it's so big. Like, I really... It feels I mean, big this it's year. It's big. Yeah. I think that the, like, insert pages... Not the insert pages. The wildcard pages. The wildcard pages, thank you, will fit inside the pouch. Thing. Oh, I didn't try I that. I, I, I put them in the pocket, but I didn't put them in the pouch. So like, see. Definitely the sticker book and the washi, which is all new stuff that I ordered this year. Like, okay. So my goal, my plan is to like put it all in the pouch yeah, and, and have it, it together, all together yeah. so that anytime I'm ready to sit down with it, it's all. Yeah, same for me. And with the, the whatever pens I'm using in my power sheet, yeah. like keep it all in exactly. that pouch. So it's all one goal setting system. Right. Do you have any way that you bring what's in your power sheets into your planner yeah. to help you? So what I do when I'm looking at kind of the month ahead, I will do like the review pages yeah. and kind of set up the tending list at the same time that I'm also kind of referencing back to like what my month looks like ahead. That is really smart to do them at the same time. <laughs> yeah, because it's like, and it works, it's like, it's it works when it works and when it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Like if I know that I'm traveling for two weekends out of the month, right. it doesn't make sense to set like a huge reorganizing project because yeah. like you don't physically have the time to do it. And then you feel like you failed. And then if you're like me, you're like, okay, well then what's the point of any of it? And then you just stop completely and spiral out and abandon it. So having, and that's a new feature that they did this for 2020 too, as well as they added a monthly calendar, I love which is so calendar. cool. I don't think I'm going to use, I don't know how if you, they figured out if you're going to, how you're going to use it yet. But I think my plan is that I'm going to actually put like my goal steps in the, tw in the power sheets, monthly planner pages. I'm not going to put like my personal. calendar. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to put the big things that are part of my, my personal life, like travel, like and, travel yeah. or like even, even things like I have having dinner with a friend after work that mm -hmm. night, which seems like, well, aren't you going to put that in your other planner too? And like I am, but the purpose is what I want to try to do is prioritize my goals over the other stuff in my life. So, so what happens to me sometimes is I will, I say I'm going to do all these things over the course of the month and and each week, but then somebody's like, hey, do you want to do this thing? And mm -hmm. I prioritize hanging out with a person or whatever right. over like the time I said I was going to do my goal. So what I want to do is map out all the things that I've already had planned, things I've already committed to, and then fill in my goal steps around that. And then like put that into my personal planner. So then I can't schedule things because guess what? I have a date with myself. Yeah. to do whatever the goal setting thing is, if that makes sense. Totally. So I'm going to use it as a way to yeah. map out the goal steps around what I already have scheduled, but then now those become appointments. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll no. see if it works. That makes sense. I think it's, I think definitely with my own kind of way of doing things that like it's very easy to kind of forfeit time with yourself. Absolutely. As a, you know, a valid thing that like you have to do is it is so important to yeah. just like Yes. your development as a person yeah. and taking care of yourself. You know, I know you talk a lot about self care and I think yeah. that, like, you know, not making, not making the time to prioritize yourself is like one of the biggest things that I struggle with. Yeah. And it's such an important part of being a human, being a human yeah. and like taking care of yourself and like all that jazz about like, you know, putting your mask on before you help other people <laughs> in an emergency. Yeah, yeah it's true. Like though. it's true. And it is the first, and it's the first thing to go always. And I think the for me, the hardest part too, is I'm like, well, you know, YOLO, I only live once. So I'm going to prioritize all these other things because I need to do them because I'm only going to be able to do them once in my life. And it needs yeah. to be now. And, and then I don't take care of myself or focus on my goals. And then, but that's, problem because then that's going to come back in the future right. you know what I mean mm -hmm. like I'm like oh YOLO this one birthday dinner screw my wellness goals I'm going to eat and drink all the things and then it's like okay but like your health and wellness is going to get you to those other birthday dinners so like is this one really worth it and yeah. like I think there's a balance definitely between like the goals and living your life and it's hard yeah it's hard to find totally I think but like do it recommitting me really recommitting to using this goal system or goal setting system rather this coming year yeah. 
I'm really re-energized. And like, Good. also it's funny too. Cause I was like, okay, like I'm so, I'm so focused on January, like January. I know me too. I, I like have been also, we're filming this in October and right. it's like, I'm, we're in 2020 already. And it's like, right. what? we're two weeks from January when you see this, yeah. but like, there is so much. There is almost an entire quarter of the year left. Right. We and need to focus, continue to focus on 2019. So, yeah. So between when we're filming this and when you are seeing it, one thing that I'm going to be really working on for my like rest of 2019 is just kind of really recommitting to the rest of the year in my power sheet. That's good. And to also get 2020 prepped and set up and ready to go. Yeah. Do you have any tips or advice on doing the prep work like that you learned from doing oh, it last yeah. time that you're going to change going into this year? I'm definitely going to give myself more time to I do it. Agreed. I feel like more we started time. way too late last yeah, year. Definitely. And I definitely ordered later than I did last or, or, or sorry, I ordered later last year than, you than did. I did yeah. this year. Like I ordered on launch day this, this year, year, knowing specifically that like, I want to start taking my time and like I'm already like it came yesterday in the mail I'm already like reading through reading yeah. and flipping through and starting to think I didn't give myself enough time to just kind of think and sit and be contemplative and let that be part of the process it was like all right I just got to bang through these, <laughs> I need like, to write I need to answer questions. all the questions and yeah. like that's not a helpful helpful or a great way to do it so I would say give yourself give yourself time you know don't feel like you have to do it all at once I definitely felt like I had to do it all at once or at least in like really big chunks, which was not helpful. I think one of the other things I'm going to say, because I know the day this, this video is going up is already mid December. If you decide today that you want to order your power sheets and then they come in like a week or two, do not feel like you have to cram in all of the prep work by January 1st. Mm -hmm. I would highly recommend not and taking your time doing the prep work. And if that means you're not starting like a monthly until February or even March, that's okay. Like that's why they launch in October so that people can have two plus months to work on the prep work before they dive into the goals. So if you're just ordering them now, do the same thing. Take that time to work through the prep work. And as Jen said, like be contemplative about it and like actually like think about it instead of just rush through it because you need to get to the January 1st, you know, tending list. Like you don't, you don't need to, you would probably be better off in my opinion, taking your time to go through the prep work and then starting in February or March. Totally. That's just my two cents. <laughs> and if, yeah. And if you skip a month, totally fine. Also, that's okay. Totally fine. I did a monthly update every month this year and there were definitely months that, uh, nothing really happened and that's okay. Yeah. Cause there were months that a lot happened way more than like prior years. So it, overall it was a progressive year. That's right. I was like, guess what? Spoiler. I had like two or three months where I was just like, no, I just like, did, I didn't have the, because of whatever was going on in my life. I'm like, I just don't have the space for this and I can't focus on it and I'm shifting focus elsewhere. But knowing that it's like, okay, I can come like giving myself permission to being like, you didn't waste it. Like you didn't, you know, spend this money and waste it. Like come right back to it. Yeah. Like they were very, you know, as part of, um, Cindy's presentation at go wild this past year, like they were very generously gifted the six month six version. Months. So even if you don't want to commit entirely to an entire year, try the six month undated That's a great idea. version and just kind of see how it feels. That's like, a great idea. Yeah. The only difference in the six month, the prep work is all the same. Yeah. It's just, instead of having 12 dated cal monthly mm -hmm. sections, it's six undated monthly sections. So you could do that and do every other month. I've seen people do that. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like that idea too. Yeah. So that you have a little, again, you have the freedom to miss months or maybe it's, you know, random months. If the summer's a really busy time for you, maybe those are the months you skip or whatever. Yeah. I have one last question. Yeah. This is Vlogmas. So what is your favorite thing about the holidays? <sighs> so much <laughs> stuff. I love, you know, the rituals of it. Yeah. I, I'm very lucky in that I have a lot of nice memories around the holidays. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I love things like baking with my mom Aww. and, you know, my grandparents who are no longer with us, but like, you baking know, with them, baking yeah. with them and having our family together and decorating our tree yeah. and, you know, getting to experience Hanukkah with my fiance's family yeah. and learn about, you know, and be invited into their traditions yeah. and their celebrations. It's always really great. It's also a time where like the older I get, I really want to slow down more especially like living in a big a major city where it's like 
everything is just like go 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 all the time and it's like a busy time for your work and there's travel and you're getting pulled into a million different places but just like really the past couple of years i've really tried to like slow down during the holidays and like that. whether it's just like you know staying in and like having watching a movie yeah and... watching a movie I, uh, christmas movies are some of my fate like yeah that's a great movies. point too i think i'm also gonna try and list like christmas movies that i want to make sure that i watch this year and like take time to just like stay in and watch them and like yeah if it can happen with sam great if not if it's just me yeah. and a cup of tea like fine great yeah totally it is like it's truly not the holidays if we have not watched national lampoon's christmas vacation <laughs> like it's just not like we did something terribly wrong that's so funny i did a, a top 10 christmas movies list last year during vlogmas that one did not make my top 10. it's and it's probably like or two on my list. That's gonna be it. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. Thank you for having me. So here. fun. I think the moral of the story is there are so many great tools out there, but don't be afraid to mix them up or change them to make them work for you and your life. Join Facebook groups because there's a lot of great ideas there. When I first, yeah, when I first started planning, I really was like, it, it always felt like very like isolated. Like yeah. it was something that I did, did by myself. Yeah. Yeah. And like one of the greatest gifts that planning has ever given to me is the chance to like become part of a community and to make so many really great friends and to meet so many different people yeah. and it, like it's just enriched my life so so much awesome Yay. Well, thank you. Thanks for having me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos usually every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and every day here during Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. That is not what I meant to say. We're doing great. We're doing great already. So I'm in the neutral horizontal, or I'm the neutral horizontal. We're gonna have to edit this. Oh, like here's other so Hold on, I'm gonna say that again because that was. I was looking at myself. I don't know why I said the camera. I need all the planners. Let's be honest. I mean, I got it. So here, oh, let me take that back.